Gets you out. Hi, Will. You all right? Yeah, all good, thanks. Um, where do you rank that in your, your caps for England so far in, in, a, in attacking sense? Were you pretty happy with your display out there? Yeah, it was a, spe- it was a special game um, to come away to Rome, such a historic city, and play in such a iconic stadium was um, was exciting. I was excited to start the week. Um, and then when I got selected, I was buzzing, to be honest, to get here and and, and rip in. Um, I thought the boys set the tone early doors nicely. The forward pack especially he put us on the front foot and allowed me and Harry to to play the way we want to play. Um, so, yeah, massive credit goes to the forwards. Were you frustrated when you came off last week? Talk to us a little bit about that, coming off of George. <clears throat> No, nah, never any frustration. Um, it's a team game. We, we, we trained all week as a squad. And um, for me, uh, yeah, George is a brilliant player. I've, I've learned a lot of him in my five years being here, being around the camp. And also before that, um, we exchanged a lot of texts growing up. And um, yeah, I, I enjoy working with him whilst in camp. So, so yeah, no frustration at all. Just wanted to ask you about the sort of specifics of a couple of tries, if that's all right. The one that you scored with the one-two with Max, um, and then the one at the end where you sort of dragged the defender out and ended up putting Max in and Sinclair scored. What are you looking for? What are the triggers that you're looking for in a defence that makes you think, right, it's on to go? Um, so I think the first try was on the back of um, a few good, tough carries from the forwards, and then we got into position where it was 2v2 with about 15 metres and Max told me to back myself and get on the outside. Um, and then I threw in the ball. He was in acres of space. And then um, something I'm trying to work on, um, seeing the best players in the world do it and DuPont and stuff like that, is second touch lines, get on the inside, especially with our dangerous runners in the wide channels. Um, if you give them half a chance on the edges and some of our forwards as well, like Jamie and... Um, and Domers, if, if you give them if you give them chances in wide channels, it gives you a good opportunity to get a second touch on the inside. And then um, the second one you spoke about, um, again, it's it's off the work ball from Max. He presented himself, gave gave me an option, and um, yeah, made my job pretty easy. Just off passing the ball, and then we 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 speak a lot about keeping the ball alive and and support lines. So it was brilliant from Sinks to to get on the inside of that and score another try. Um, he was pretty buzzing with that. Um, you mentioned there that you study a bit of Dupont. Is that a regular thing? And who else would you look at? And what other bits of people's games are you trying to emulate or take for yourself? Yeah, if you look at the way he, he scores almost every game, um, sometimes he pulls miracles out, out the hat and, and runs the length. But a lot of the time he, he, he poaches on the back of good work from the outside boys. And um, even his try yesterday was a good inside support line. Um, and you see a lot of players do it now in, in world rugby and in, in Mwanga and these sort of players um, get second touch lines and um, try and keep the ball alive as opposed to go into rucks. Just a quick last one. Can I ask you about um, your relationship with Harry? You played a bit of in the 20s with him. So it goes back a little bit further than we might have thought, does it? Yeah, so I've trained trained a fair bit with, with Rand's. Um, we played in the Barbas game together, I think, a while ago, um, as well as the summer summer tour um, at home against USA and Canada. So we've built a good relationship over the years. And even a few years ago, um, in the age, I played one game with Rand. So, yeah, I love playing with him. Um, he's electric. He's he's a box of tricks. And, um, again, to, to follow him into contact and and try and get offloads of him is, is exciting. And I love um, I love getting to know him on and off the field. You've got such a good relationship with Danny Kerr at Quinns, don't you? Is it how long does that kind of take to develop with a, a scrum half? Yeah, it takes time. Um, I've been very, very lucky um, to, to have played with DC for a few years now at Quinns, um, and our relationship doesn't just doesn't just happen on the field. We spend a lot of time off the field. We talk a lot of um, smack about football and stuff like that. I always say Brighton are better than Liverpool. And, and things like that. But yeah, similarly with, with Rands, we have um, things to talk about off the field and um, especially being in, in, in camp for such a long period of time. And, and we've done it a couple of campaigns now. Um, you start to build relationships. You start to know what he wants from you. And I start to, or he also starts to understand what I want from him. So as long as we can keep building that and, and working with each other on and off the field, I think, um, it will, it will continue to improve over time. We're still, we're still a new partnership, so it's, it's been enjoyable so far.
Cheers, Marcus. Thank you. Thank you, Will. Thanks, Duncan Beck. Hi, Will. Hi, Marcus. How you doing? Hi, Duncan. You all right? Yeah, very good. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how important was it to, to get this win after what happened in Murrayfield and the way that unfolded in the last 20 minutes or so? Yeah, we, we were uh, very disappointed on the back of last week um, to travel back from, from Scotland with only one point. We, we, we obviously set higher ambitions than that, but it is what it is. And um, we, we all week we said we need a big start, start fast. Um, obviously, massive credit goes to Italy, who at home are a different beast. Um, they're proud men and um, the crowd was was electric at times. Um, a lot of English fans, which helped help push us over the line. But um, I thought in parts today we, we were we were good. But as as we were all striving for perfection, it's it's we're not really satisfied satisfied at the minute. But to come away with five points in this tournament, uh, which is a tough tournament, is 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 always nice. And um, we'll we'll enjoy tonight and get back on the horse tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Thank you, Duncan. Cheers. Thanks. And I think we've just got one more hand up. So we'll finish with Hugh Godwin, please. Relax. Hi, Hugh. You all right? Yeah, fine. How are you? Jinx, relax. Please. Sorry, Hugh. That's all right. Okay. Just wanted um, at the end who you were waving to in the crowd and, and more generally, do you feel you're striking up a relationship with the England supporters? Yeah, it was nice to, to take a walk around. Um, I had family friends on one side and then um, on the other side, I had my mum, dad and my girlfriend who made the trip over, uh, which was special. It's always nice to to play in such a um, such a brilliant crowd who, who are behind you with whatever decision and, and whatever happens in the field. And um, we definitely had that today uh, with the English fans, as well as to have my family and my girlfriend there was made it extra special. <laughs> Sorry. This and, that's all right. Concentrate. <laughs> Am I right in thinking you've got a celebration coming up tomorrow? How, how are you going to uh, spend tomorrow? Is it correct? Is your birthday tomorrow? Yeah, it is my birthday. I'm getting old now. Um, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll enjoy tonight with the boys. Um, and then I think I'll, I'll spend some time with my family and my girlfriend tomorrow. Is it a travel day tomorrow? Travel day tomorrow. So um, maybe a bit of sleeping for me.